So, should we go in the park? Yeah, good idea. So what's meant to be an enjoyable activity, Max? It would be difficult, wouldn't it, if someone's got hay fever? Absolutely. So if, you, if you're coming out into the park mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and it's summertime, which yes. it isn't now, <laughs> but, but when it is summertime, then uh, obviously that's when the pollen comes out. Mm -hmm. And of course the best way yes. to help with your hay fever mm -hmm. is to stop the pollen. So that would be just staying indoors in the summer months, which yes. isn't very pleasant. It's not very pleasant and it's not very yeah. practical. No, and, it uh, and you can't do it anyway because the pollen comes inside. Of course, you know? yeah. But there are loads of different ways of treating hay fever. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you know, because you're a nutritionist, yes. aren't you? Mm -hmm. So there are lots of ways with food, aren't there? Oh, absolutely. It, it's keeping yourself as um, hydrated as possible. Yeah. Because when the liver is dehydrated, the you know the organ of the body, the liver, um, when it's congested, it's got a lot more work to do, and that's when you get allergies, hay fever, things like that. Like short grain brown rice, that holds a lot of water. Millet, that holds even more water. When you cook it, you need a lot of water to cook it with. So, so if you're cooking millet, is that light rice? I, I, um, the only thing yes. I remember about mm -hmm. millet is mm -hmm. being in Nepal and they made a, mm -hmm. a fantastic drink out of millet. Oh, really? used to, yeah, you could um, uh, you could brew it and it was oh. it was like a drink that we had in Nepal. So anyway, Julia, I don't know about you, but we're not actually in summer now no. and it's getting pretty cold. Yeah, so is. I reckon we should get back to your house. What do you yes. reckon? Good idea. Let's Max. go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Brilliant. <sighs> <laughs> It's a beautiful park, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We talked about holidays. No, we haven't. We talked have about we? holidays yeah. because because one of the interesting things is mm -hmm. is when people go on holiday, mm -hmm. the worst thing is to go on holiday and mm. to be collapsing with hay fever around oh, the place. Oh gosh, and, yeah. And of course, nice. you can take some hay max with you, and you can still do. But but if you go to a place that just happens to have loads of pollen, yeah then it's not going to be nice. So what yeah. you can do is you can mm -hmm. sort of think about it before you go. And mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. uh, if you go to dry countries mm -hmm. and you go to coastal areas, yes. then you get less pollen. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons that coastal areas you get less pollen is because the wind mm -hmm. blows onshore and uh -huh. blows all the pollen away yeah. from the coast. You were talking about your clientele before, weren't mm -hmm. you? Mm. Yes. Um, I found that... The ones that have had hay fever, um, they're drinking more water, but they're having foods um, that aren't as dehydrating. So they're cutting out wheat and dairy, sugar, they're having a more natural diet that I recommend. And they've found a lot, they've been a lot better. And, and that's what we find with all the remedies. Mm. What workshops do you do? Because you mentioned those before. Yeah. Um, well, I have four or five people and I'll show them kind of foods, uh, you know, some of the foods that you tried today. There's the sushi, which is made with brown rice or white sushi rice uh, with seaweed. And this yeah. isn't the same seaweed that you have when you're in a Chinese, is it? No. When you're Because that's, that's, that's cabbage. That's cabbage. That's cabbage. Yeah. And, and with a lot of sugar on and things yes. like that. So there's something like soya. People think soya's good and actually it's very challenging to the thyroid. People do think soya's good for you, so, so, mm. uh, but it's not necessarily so good no. on its own. What um, about soya milk? No, very fatty and difficult to digest as well as leaching you know, I, um, iodine, which your thyroid needs. Really? Mm. It's fascinating. So, yeah. You know a lot of stuff, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Sugar. Sugar's a big one. Sugar, they say, is more oh, addictive really? than cocaine. Yes. yes, and people are addictive to it. And I used to be, and now I don't even need it. The way I eat and the way I recommend people to eat, no, you don't get those sugar cravings. Oh, really? You do, yeah. I think really I might be help. addicted to sugar, actually. Mm. Yeah, I have to talk to you about that. Oh, yeah. I yeah. have to have two sugars in my tea. Oh, really? Is that oh. bad? So my biggest tip, Max, yeah. I can give anyone, is to eat more consciously or mindfully knowing how you love to feel and then all of a sudden you might pick something up you know you might have had a, a cup of coffee um yeah. or tea or something that isn't so good for you and you either drink or eat and you think hmm i don't feel so good with that when you do it more mindfully or you can mentally say body is this what you want and you might suddenly say actually no it isn't what i want 